was catching Simon, anybody? Every time I turn round, he's got one on down there.
Yeah. It's not as big as what I thought, but it's still big. Well, here we are. Lake five. End of the match. And I'd say I've got the best looking match angler from my section. So Adam Rooney. Hello. What you got? Not a lot. 130 pound. Uh, About half of what you've got. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Quite sexy the way you eat a prawn sandwich. Thanks, mate. It's all the bits around your mouth for doing it for me. Oh, I've got, am I covered in it? What do you think of the sandwich? Oh, and I've been next to. Time and fry. What you got, Simon? <clears throat> One four two. One hundred forty-two pound. Yep. One four two. One four two. I don't think I've got that. <laughs> <laughs> You've got more than that. Do you think so? You've got loads more than me. <laughs> You've got one eighty plus. Yeah, I reckon. Plus I haven't got one eighty. Wow. We'll soon find out. Thirty-two. Hey, come to me. Get your No, I haven't actually. Chuck them back. You've gone right down in my estimation. You don't catch many on me, you see. <laughs> <laughs> baguette, you don't get many on baguette. Prawn. 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 Baguette. <laughs> 42.
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was that close. Hold on there. Cheers. Oh, I don't know if that's Is that your little go pro or something? Yeah. So, round two of the UK Championships at the Glebe, and obviously I was really looking forward to this because it's just a great venue. Um, and I've joined Lake 5, Peg 79, amongst some very good anglers in my section. And uh, in my section alone, I had Jason LaVosk on the MPEG, Tommy Hillier, um, Adam Rooney, my good mate Simon Fry, who I was lucky enough to join next to. Um, and on the end peg was Dave Brown. Now, I drew the middle of the lake with the wind blowing down to where Dave was. And Dave also had a bit of space. So I was actually looking at my peg and looking down the lake thinking, oh, I've got to be realistic about this. I'm fishing for second inch section. Look, if I win the section, great. But it's going to be very hard to beat Dave on the end peg today. And um, I, I try to keep my fishing simple. I don't know the venue that well, so I just try to keep, keep it quite logical. My, my plan was to catch on the short pole with the corn, uh, down the edge, if, if they arrived, maybe in the last hour, last half an hour, or however late it was, I was hoping to catch at least a few fish down the margins. And the feeder across. Um, and how the match started was I went short and I didn't really catch. I, 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 had, I think I had one fish in the first 20 minutes. And in that time, Simon Fry to my right had had two carp on the feeder, but lost a couple of fish as well. Um, now, the rule there is you can only use a 20-inch up length, and that's the problem. You are going to lose the odd fish. Um, so the, the short line, I was quite surprised, didn't work as well as what I did, as what I thought it would at the start of the match. I've then gone on the feeder and I've had two or three carp, but very few bites and not a lot of indications to give me any reason to keep plugging away at it. And quite soon enough, I made a decision that I had to rely upon this short line um, to, to put me some fish in the net. Um, so anyway, I've then come back on the pole, just feeling quite heavy with the corn by hand, and then occasionally putting a pot of corn out over the top, fishing a single or double piece of corn out over the top. Um, and I've caught pretty steady, to be honest with you. I've caught quite a few carp, but they've been small. And cutting a long story short, with an hour to go, I felt I was doing really well in the section. Dave Brown, by this time, was bagging. Um, and I could visibly see what he was doing. He's catching on the feeder. Later on in the match, he was catching on the short pole. And it, I'd kind of like cut him, I've cancelled, I cancelled him out of the equation. He was winning the lake by a country mile. So I was fishing for second inch section. And with about an hour remaining, I've then gone down the margins and I've had three carp in the space of 10 minutes. And they were good sized fish as well. Um, and I was quite happy with that. But the, it, it kind of like caught me out there because I spent then as a result. A little bit too much time down the margins trying to catch some more fish and they just went on me I caught three fish in a very short space of time and I stopped getting bites but I was thinking look I, I might only need a couple of fish I 
I, I, I'm not, I weren't sure what weight I had really because the fish were quite small. Um, but by this time, Simon Fry, who was quite a distance behind me on weight, um, in the last 40 minutes made a very clever decision of coming from a top two in two to a top kit in one in the shallow water. And he caught, not very well, but the fish that he caught were big fish. So I was still thinking I was ahead of him because I couldn't actually see the fish he was landing. Um, and then when it come to the weigh-in, um, he beat me. He had uh, £148 and I had £142. And it was purely that decision what he made in that last half hour, coming into that shallow water and catching those bigger fish. And I think deep down he knew that because they weren't feeding down the edge properly, because of the tight pegs, that that was his edge line, so to speak. That a top kit in one was the area where the fish felt safer to move in on, uh, as opposed to come down the margins. So looking back, um, I yeah, I've lost the odd fish, but everyone has as well. But I think spending a little bit too much time down the margins, getting a little bit too giddy, thinking I was going to catch a few more big fish down the margins, instead of persevering on that short line, where I was catching quite steady as well, um, has cost me second in the section because I've only needed £152 to come second in the section so I ended up fourth in the section Adam Rooney had 138 I had 142 Jason Labosk had 141 uh, and of course Simon Fry was third in the section with 148 it was a really really tight section so um Dave Brown won the mate, uh, won the lake and the match with two hundred and eight pound, uh, so well done, mate! Awesome result. Um, so as it stands now, I've got five points, which has put me in ninth position. I'm reasonably happy with that. Um, I've just got to secure two good points in the next two rounds. The next rounds at Boddington, um, and that's going to be hard, I think, and it's going to. It's going to be quite challenging. It could throw a lot of people out and it could completely turn around the leaderboard for certain people. Um, so that's going to be an interesting round. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll let you know what happens.